y'all this is dina welcome to my channel i am back on my lunch break right now it is thursday working from home again today thankfully because we are still nice and frozen out there let me just tell you nice and frozen i'll insert a picture here it's supposed to start warming up so i'm hoping that everything will start melting off so maybe we can get back in the office tomorrow and help out the team. There are a few people on my team that's able to go in today and try to do some work that we need to do inside the office. But, you know, like some of us that like live far and we have to go over lots of bridges, it's just so dangerous. So I don't feel comfortable. But anyway, grateful for those people that are able to make it in and um, hopefully everybody out there is staying safe if you're in this area or if you're having some inclement weather. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, so this is part two of the Be Happy album. And y'all, how cute is he? Now yesterday, after I finished, I made a cute bow. And this is the Angel Wing Die by KS Craft. I love it. And I added that cute little bee on there. And I have some little bees and some like little brads and stuff that I had purchased when I went to like the scrapbooking thing um, earlier, like I think it was in October, but I have a whole bunch of, I have a bunch of little bees and so forth. So I have this one right here too. It looks different, but I like the cutesy one. I'm more of the cutesy type one, like this one. That's what he looks like. Come on, get over there. There you go. Okay, so that is where I got those. And I think it was from like, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the booth it was from. But anyway, they're super cute. I made that, added it to the spine, and I think it just turned out darling. Okay, so I've already worked on the pages, and I've already added some things in the book. But I'm going to make a page with you on camera here so I can show you how, to, how I made them. It's all simple like I usually do. But y'all, this one is turning out so stinking darling. So this is what it is looking like so far. So I added these little pockets over here. See? And it was this. Let me find the die. It's this die right here, and actually this is the brand Maddie's Crafting Joy Dies. That's where I got this from. Um, that's the kind of die it is. I purchased this on Amazon, and I absolutely love it. And so I made a pocket like this for the front and back. Now, if you don't have a die, you can just kind of cut yourself pockets and, and so forth and just add it on. But I did add one in the back and one in the front, so... This is what my pages are looking like. So we're gonna make this one right here. So let's go ahead and let's um, work on the page and then I'll do a total flip through of everything. So I've already got my paper ready, okay? So what you need is you need a piece of paper that's five and three fourths in the width by six and three fourths, okay? I've already gone ahead and I scored it at a half an inch on each side and I added double-sided tape. And it's going to be going like this, okay? So, and then you're going to need a second piece that's five and three fourths by five and three fourths, and we're going to adhere it on to here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this together the best that I can. Okay, I need to pull it back a little bit. Let me see if I can pull it. Maybe I can't pull it back. I'm going to go with it. Sometimes if I don't get it totally straight and I can't move it, I'm not going to ruin my paper. So there we go. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and take off this one. And I'm going to go ahead and spring that forward and just like this. Okay. Now let me grab my bone folder. I want to make sure everything is nice and flat here. And I did get, um, I do have a little bit of overhang right here. That's okay. Just take your scissors and trim it. It's going to be just fine. I just trim. Okay, so there we go. So this is what it looks like, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your album. And you're, it's going to go on this first hinge right here. Okay, 
And so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off a little bit of my tape off of my hinge. Okay, let me get that piece of paper out of there. I just want to make sure too that you're seeing everything so let me just make sure there we go okay and now what you're going to do is you're going to take this you're going to open it up slide it onto the hinge and i try to keep it open you want to slide it onto the hinge and you want to slide it down but not where it's flush with the bottom okay you want to slide it down just where it's close and then once you get it and it's even, you're just going to take that off and press it down. Simple, right? Easy, easy. And then I'm just going to take, and let me see. Let me grab my little pokey tool here, my Cricut tool. And I'm just going to reach up under here and grab the other piece of tape that's under here. And I'm just going to pull that off. And I'm going to just get that pressed down. Okay, so that is how you add the page on. Simple, right? So now, I what I did is I've been putting like a page on the front, and I can see I have a little bit of tape right there. Don't worry about it, y'all. It's all gonna be just fine. Okay, so this right here, um, this one is, let me see exactly the measurement. It's a six inches by five and six inches by about five and a quarter. So five and a quarter in height by six inches. I scored it at a half an inch and I'm gonna use this. It's gonna be like an extra page, okay? So I'm just gonna peel off my tape and I'm going to add this down. And I'm gonna go down about right there. I'm gonna kind of center it in the middle of my, center it in the middle of my book here. And then, and then there we go. So I'm gonna use my bone folder, press things down. You wanna make sure it gets nice and pressed down. So now it's not as not as big as this page. It's a little bit smaller, and you got about a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom. That's kind of how I like to make it. You can make make these so many different ways. Okay, so now I'm going to take some scraps of paper and I'm going to determine which one I want to do. I'm thinking I really want to do maybe the flowers. And all I do, y'all know this, this is what I do. I just kind of take it and put it up against here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim. I know you can't see my trimming. Okay, making sure I can still see my line there. Okay, and once I get it where I want it, I make sure that I have it right out in the middle. Make myself another mark and I'll trim. And then I'm gonna do one for the other side as well while I've got the measurement. And y'all, I just kinda make a tick mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. Okay, get that, see that little tick mark right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut two and I'll just use this one for the other side. So that way then I just measure once and cut twice, or cut twice, measure twice and cut once, I guess I should say. Go ahead, cut that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these on. That looks good. So I'm gonna use some double-sided tape. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere it just so I can see a little border. Okay. So just like that, I'm gonna do the other side, and so I'm gonna use the opposite side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the gingham looking, or the plaid looking, I guess you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna add this one, I think I'll add that about like that. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut some papers for this one. And I have, let me see if I have a scrap. Let me see how big this is gonna be, if it would be big enough. I'm trying to use my scraps. That would actually be fine. So actually the width is good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna make myself a tick mark and cut this one. I like to keep all my scraps as I'm working and then I can just go ahead and I can cut, you know. And then I think I'll go with maybe this piece. So let me just go ahead and measure. That way I can cut. It's just easier to do it this way than in my opinion. I'm gonna cut. I have two of these collections and so I think I only ended up having to use one so far so I like that okay so I think I'm gonna go let me see if I want to do this on the back I kind of like this black with this one so I'm gonna add add that in I do see dripping off the side of my house. That's a that's a good thing. That means maybe we'll be able to melt off and get back to life. Don't get me wrong, I do love working at home though. I love being at home. Okay, now and during this whole album when I show you all the pages, I did not use any of the sides with the gnomes. I just wanted to do with the B colors and stuff. So I did not, nothing in here has a gnome. <laughs> I just liked, I think I really liked the designs and just the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this over so I can see that side. There we go. So now you have now a page page and now this, you can make some photo mats and put down here. Um, I didn't make any of those, but you can do that. And now we're gonna quickly just add um, some little decorations. So, I kind of like this right here was in some ephemera I have. It said, you're the bee's knees. You're the bee's knees. And I think this one is super stinking darling. And I'm thinking I might put, let me see where I want to put it. I think I might put it here. So, I think that's what I'll do. I think it'll be darling. I think I'll just add him here. I'm not going to layer him up. Okay, let me see what I've got. Have a beautiful day is simply cute. See, it's a little bit, it's not totally um, squared. I like that. Let me see if I could add it on some black. So that way I can layer that. I do like to layer as much as I can if I think it needs it. Come on tape, there we go. And I'm going to have to fussy cut around this one because it's not totally, it's not a square. Oh, my stomach is growling. I'm going to have to go find something to eat in a minute. Hopefully if everything melts, it starts to dry up before, and hopefully the temperature won't drop. But if the temperature drops, it's going to freeze again. We need this to be over. So there we go. That will be good. And I think I'm just going to add this right here. I think it'll be darling. I'm just going to put this here. And you know, you can always add like a little photo or something there if you'd like. So there's that. And then um, I like this one here. You're my sugar pie honey bunch. It's darling. Um, let me see here. Let's see. I already added the be happy, but it's okay if I add it again. I can always use this one here, but cover this be happy up and just put sweet. 
Uh, let me see here. I think I could do that. I just cover it up because I've already got a bee cavity in here and I don't want to do the same thing again. So let me layer this one up. I think I'll add this one on this page. Y'all, I don't like spend forever trying to decide. I just kind of go with it and, you know, this is what I do. Okay. Okay, so now I think this is the be happy it's gonna say sweet and I'll be just fine hope everybody's doing great today I hope you're doing something that you love and if you're at work hope you're doing fine okay I like this you can always do just glue on the bottoms and this could be a tuck spot so I think I will just add glue just on those sides and it could be that tuck spot I just talked about okay. like this. Got glue and I'm gonna put it right up here just leaving a little bit of the border okay so now I'm a, that when that dries, it will become, you yeah, see it's tuck spot here. And then I like this Be Awesome. So let me layer this up. I just kind of pulled out some ephemera. Oops, I dropped that one. I pulled out some ephemera that I had from this collection and anything that didn't have a gnome i love gnomes i think they're sweet but i just didn't want i just didn't want to put gnomes in this i just wanted it to be just be sweet with little bees okay so this one can just go over here maybe i'll do this at the top so i'm gonna add this one right here so that way there's places to put photos. And then on this one right here, I like this. Kind words are like honey. I like that. I'm gonna layer this one up and I think we're gonna start with the yellow. And then we'll layer it up on some black. Okay. Go ahead and glue this down. And y'all might say, "Why are you uh, glue? Why do you glue and then tape? Why well, glue and it's just whatever's closest to me at the moment." Okay. So let me go ahead and cut that notch out. And I really want to use this one somewhere too, so I'm not going to forget that one. Okay, so kind birds are like honey. Isn't that so precious? So cute. Blue. I'm going to put it here at the bottom. And then I have a little gold bee I think I'll put it here and the bee came from a die and I'll show you the die I'll show you the dies that I've used okay okay and then let's see I'm gonna look at my on there I'm look at the sticker sheet, see what I can use. And 
Kind words are, oh look, that moved over on top of the honey. Let me move it back. I probably did that myself here. Kind words are like honey, and look, here's a sticker that's got honey. I do have a dye that's got honey, but I just didn't feel like using it, so. Okay, so, you are my sugar pie honey bunch. I need to use that, and I think I might put it here. Let me layer up on some yellow. I'm loving this yellow. Y'all know I'm a pink girl, but I am loving this yellow. Very pretty. I just spoke with my sister, and um, she, she's getting ready to work on um, making a tea party like at her church, she's having like an event at her church. So she was really excited that a friend of hers has asked her to help and make decorations. So she is going to be pulling out her craft card stock and all her colors and she's got a plan. She's got a beautiful plan. So sis, if you watch, I know you're gonna do great. There you go, look at that. So you could put a photo here. Okay, so let's kind of um, kind of make our way through. I'll also show you the dyes that I used. Okay, this is the bow die I used. I used the small one, and it was for this right here. Okay, so I there's two sizes. This is the KS Craft Angel Wing die. So here's the larger one. And then this one in here is the smaller one. That's what I used for this one. I did purchase this on Amazon. The last time I looked, they were sold out, but you could probably find it on Alley because it is a KS craft. Um, so anyway, and the paper, I purchased it when I went to the scrapbook um, convention thingy recently. And it is by Photoplay. And it is, again, called Sweet as Honey by Tula and Norbert. It's the paper I've used. This, again, was the Treasure Treasure Box Designs free cut file that I purchased, or that I got for free, and I downloaded it and cut this out with my Cricut. The foam letters are just, just foam letters that I have in my stash. So that is the outside, and here's the back paper as well. Okay. So then when you open up this right here, um, again, this is the die that I used for that. And this is the name, Maddie's Crafting Joy Dies. Okay, got it on Amazon. And um, let's see here. So here we've got this page that you just watched me make. And here we go. These are all just like come out of the collection and change this one over to sweet and this is also a tuck spot to put a photo or something and um, this one kind words are like honey and I added the bee now the bee the little bee I cut out came from this die right here and I'm not really sure what kind of die what brand the die is but it's cute bee metal cutting dies um, I got it on Amazon and that's all I remember so you might be able to look up B B dies and see if it comes up, but see this is kind of as they cut. So I cut that out on some gold glitter cardstock. Then this is we are meant to be is in the collection, and I added some little foam hearts as you see. Um, the little foam hearts are from from Hobby Lobby. This is what they look like. And then I have a larger B. And the larger bee came from this one. I probably got it from Hobby Lobby and it cuts out all of these and I just cut out the larger bee and a smaller bee. Okay, and then this one right here, Our Hive and the paper is so cute. Um, Our Hive just actually came off of the sticker sheet. And what I did is I just put it on yellow paper and cut it out and layered it on black and I put glue around the sides and the bottom so that way it could be like a little small pocket. So that one turned out darling. 
Um, to make a little photo mats, just cut them the size, which these are five and three fourths size. Would you like maybe five and a quarter? By five and a quarter, by five and a five and a quarter in height, and then make it a little longer in width. That way, then you can have them stick out. Um, this one right here, it's just like the wood grain looking piece, and it says Happy Bee Day. Just added a sweet little bee. And then uh, this one, this was a sticker on the sticker sheets. It's our happy family, so you can put a family photo there. And this one says, be kind, caring, happy, and gentle. And then over here, I just put a heart. And then we were meant to be. And then uh, this one says, will you be my honey? So cute, so, so cute, so cute. And you can always add like the extra bee up here. Let's add this bee. And this one was fun to make, y'all. Um, I mentioned in my video yesterday that I felt like I was on a crafting slump. Well, I think I'm back because this was super fun. Super, super fun. Okay, so there is that one. And I have these like here. This is BU. I really like that. I have to figure out where I want to put that. And then this one, I just put a welcome friends back here. Maybe you can put a picture with friends. And then you're my honeybee. And this was just a sticker from the collection. And then back here, it says buzz and buy to say hi. And I put a gold bee on here. And then back here, we have the extra little pocket. And this one says welcome to our hive. So you could put a photo on here. So I just layered it up and stuck it here because it would be too big for the book. And that is what it looks like. Um, I've got this little tag here. It could be for beautiful memories. Let me see if I have. Um, I could always just stick this, stick this one in here. And I really like the BU. I'm going to figure out where to put it, I think. I wonder if I want to put it like on the edge here where it sticks out. I love that too. Um, but I'm going to wait on this. I'm going to wait and decide what I want to do. But this album has turned out darling. I absolutely love it. Look at all of this. You've got room to grow in here. So, so cute. Now I'm going to tie it up. You've got your ribbon enclosure so you can keep everything from falling out. And this has turned out so, so cute. I'm going to flip that over. Okay. And just tie a nice bow. And our album is done. How fun is this, y'all? This was so much fun. I so enjoyed this so much. And, um, yeah, I just had a really good time with it. I had some more bee dyes. Um, I had this one that's a honey dye. I didn't use that one, and I haven't used this one that looks like, like a beehive or whatever, but I could use that for a card or something. So, anyway, that is it. That is my album. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that you will give this a try. Oh, I need to glue that down so it doesn't get bent. Let me glue. But I hope you'll give this a try, and I hope that you'll pull out your papers and just start going to town, making yourself a cute little album. And then you can put things in it. You can gift it to someone. Someone would love to receive something like this in the mail when they just love this. I think it would be darling. And anyway, that is it. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, just let me know if you watched both parts. I'd love to know. Anyway, have a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, y'all.